London's commuter boats are getting busier and this morning was no exception. And those who catch the clippers to work usually love them. Extremely positive, um, very life enhancing. I love it, I'm an addict. You always get a seat on the boat. Um, it's a lovely way to travel, you can have a nice cup of coffee, get a croissant, and it's actually much faster than you'd expect. And the aim now is to double the number of journeys on the Thames by 2035. So is a solution 80 miles south of the capital. Increasing passenger numbers means thinking bigger and the latest boat bound for the Thames is being built here on the Isle of Wight. It'll increase capacity by 8%. So this is the wheelhouse of the new Thames Clipper that we've been working on. We were shown round Venus by James Day, a naval architect. This clipper uses aerospace technology to keep it as light as possible. They use rivets and not as much metal welding. The lighter we can be, either the more people we can carry or the smaller engines we can use or the faster we can go. And for our operators, especially with fuel costs and things as they are these days, being able to move to smaller engines and lighter boats is absolutely essential for their business models now. This boat costs four million pounds. And it's not just the size that's different with this new clipper. It's also got a much shallower draft or bottom and it's not as tall as the existing clippers. That means it's much more versatile and it'll be able to go down to Putney and up to Woolwich. And then along the back there is, is where the bike racks are installed. Clipper bosses also want better signage at piers and the clipper routes on the tube map. I would like to see from TfL them considering uh, better information between underground and bus to river um, and probably one of the best ways that that could be done is being put on the, uh, on the tube map. Uh, the river's already in the tube map. If we put the river line down it, it would be an easy message. This investment, it's hoped, will continue to increase passengers using the river. It'll be joining other clippers on the Thames next year. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.